What's up guys, here we are on the 2018-2019 Season 3 of the San Antonio Dreadnoughts. This year we're going for an undefeated streak. And the only thing that stands in our way right now is Jacksonville. Here we go, second and 15, we're gonna drop back. I see a receiver one on one. Oh, it gets popped up. That sort of lazy play is how you get dropped from this Dreadnoughts team. We're trying to be serious right now. We don't want any easy losses. I see you beat, and it gets swatted away. We're four and out on our very first drive. Man, every team has all these rookie quarterbacks now. Fernando Parker, really? You can already tell that's an auto-generated name. That's that Madden 16 generation for you right there. And he's got all day to throw. Come on, sack that man. That's it, boy. And he's injured as well. First play of the game. It looks like it's a typical Gatorade injury, but we'll see how long it keeps him out for. That's how serious we are on defense. Your quarterback can't even survive more than one play against this Dreadnoughts defense. We're not here to fuck around. Smash that man. Ooh, it's fourth down. Give me that ball right back. Hopefully Le'Veon can get open, but maybe either Cooks or Green Beckham as well. And I was just about to hit Le'Veon. I really want to try out Cooks again. I want to see if he can get it done. Going back on this corner. One on one, he was guarded so closely and he still came down with that. Putting Le'Veon on a streak. Hopefully he can get free. He gets open, hit him. Oh, that was nearly picked off. He's breaking another tackle, though. What a beast. Putting Sankey out on the toss. Can he get it in the end zone for the first points? Of course he can. We ain't playing around. I try to tell the NFL, we ain't playing around. Dreadnought hopefuls in the house, baby. I don't mind these blitzes. These cover three blitzes. They're all right. Hit him. How do you not fumble that? Come on, bro. That's like the fifth person I've hit in this Dreadnoughts franchise like that. And nobody's fumbled the ball. There we go, though. Getting the sack. We've got to get that ball right back. Oh, Cooks doesn't want to receive it. Get back there. What? Pick it up. Somebody pick it up. What is this? Run forward. Wow, that is terrible starting position. Alright, let's just make the easy reads. Don't want to get too complicated. There we go. What the fuck was that? I think that guy's name is Hunter. He's getting dropped. We don't tolerate that sort of stuff. You're on national TV right now and you're going to throw that. Oh, Cooks. No, that was Kendall Wright. My bad. Actually, you know what? i got a better idea. Time out. Why don't we bring out Graham Gano? We paid all this money for this free agent kicker who's 96 overall. Let's try and get it done. Just got to line it up appropriately. The wind's going against us. No good. An empty trip for the offense. Graham, what are you doing, Kerr? I can't believe we missed that field goal. We paid all that money for a 96 overall and we playing too much man. I was going heavy on the blitz there and it didn't pay off at all. No more playing around on the defensive end. This is the Jacksonville Jaguars right now. This should be a blowout. And how... I passed committed right there. I just want to know how he got that in. And that is their backup quarterback, might I add. We got to pull ahead of this game. We just got to cheese, throw it up. We got 18 seconds to go. Hopefully we can get him field goal range. Let's go. Oh, I thought he would have had that for sure. How many times have we seen... Oh, that's Cooks, that's why. Starting off the second half, Jacksonville have the ball. Here comes the pressure, they get rid of it, and that is a monster hit laying him down by the rookie cornerback. Alright, we'll just let the DBs chill back on this one. No need to get involved. Oh, he's wide open! Buchanan! Did you see him there lurking like a spider on that one? Look at him lurk. He's just sitting back there chilling, doing his own thing. And the quarterback. Man, Buchanan was lurking on that pick. He threw it right to him and said, have a good day, son. 
Our offense is actually playing pretty shit though, might I add. The defense is getting it done, getting that pick, but I think it's our offensive line. I think our offensive line is finally starting to crumble. All right, we're Ding up on this one. Oh, he's got to scramble it. That's a 65 overall quarterback. Hit him. Ooh, you got to take off his head, Buchanan. Second and 10. The pressure's on this Dreadnoughts team right now. Ah, get on the ground, noob. You got to be careful in situations like this. Third and 13. If they're going deep here, you know this quarterback is not very accurate. He's throwing in the double coverage. Ryan Shazy. Come on, you got that speed, boy. Go, go, go. Ooh, he gets taken out, but Ryan Shazy, yo. He was another person lurking on that play right there. But I kind of wish the rookie cornerback got that pick instead of him, but beggars can't be choosers, right? I ain't mad. That's a new addition to the team that we picked up in the offseason. Ryan Shazy, our second middle linebacker. But what about t -Lev? Break that tackle. Ooh, I thought he would have fumbled that. Another fourth down, and we know that Graham Gano cannot get it from this range. But t -Lev, he's picking that up easy. That's breakfast. He eats those. I'm going to try and hit Green Beckham here as soon as possible. There we go. He cuts. And he's got it breaking off that tackle. First down, first and 10. T-Lev is not playing like his usual self. He's just sort of hanging back there doing his own thing. Hey, hey, mad. There we go. Duke move. Hey, he broke that tackle and he got the first down. That's all I can ask from this young man. We've got to make our passes quick because this offensive line cannot hold them for very long. There we go. Le'Veon on the cut. The slant route pays off. He burns his man. And he is a terrible route running, but that paid off in a big way. We finally take the lead. And just to make matters worse, I'm going to hit him up for two. I want them to have to go for two because we know how good this team is on the line. Burning the defenders, that's easy. We should go for two points every single time we get a touchdown. I feel like something sneaky is going to happen on this play, so I'm going to send a bit more pressure. And Drick James is going to run it again. I ain't falling for that. Come here. You're not going to make 10 yards on me again, son. Third and 10. Here we go. That's play action. I'm not falling for that. I read that all the way. I'm following my man up the middle. There we go. There's the easy sack all day. Now, all we need is a field goal. So, if we can go 20 yards here, might even just pop up a field goal. Because then we've got this game. There we go. T left. We're already in field goal range. When Sankey comes on at running back, I like to switch him out, swing him out to the left because they think we're going deep and Sankey gets left wide open. And that's our first Sankey leg of the season going for a first down and more. We're in a position right now where we can experiment, just muck around, see, try and find new plays on the offensive end. But better yet, getting this touchdown, I'm strolling in that end zone. With my arm back saying, here, you can take this ball, but first you got to get me. Oh, here we go. What do you have for me, Drick James? What do you got for me this time? Looks like they're running that gun split close. They are. They're going to the flats. Come here. Fumble. I hope the rest of the league is watching this game because we're not exactly dominating right now, but in a lot of ways we are. It's almost like we're mocking the Jaguars right now. And the sack gets there. That's like the fourth sack of the day. You already know on third and 19, they're going to send this one deep. They're going to go down the field. I'm all over that. Where are you going to throw it? Oh, that's too easy. That's too easy. Give me that. Gresham was lurking in the back there. That was almost a gimme. He threw that nowhere near his receiver. And even if he did, Gresham would have beat the shit out of him anyway. All right, we're here on third and 18. We're just mucking around. Throw it up. Why not? And it's incomplete. Mariota actually overthrew that one. Yo, these Jaguars are actually still... I, I admire the heart. Don't get me wrong, but give up. They're actually trying to stick around with the Dreadnoughts. I mean, after a game like this, despite the actual points... 
on the board. I feel like we're too dominant. That's too easy. Why do you keep throwing these souvenirs to Gresham for? Once again, throwing it nowhere near his quarterback. Gresham just sitting there saying, I'll eat those for breakfast. Give me that. Yeah, I'm just going to run this with Marietta. I feel like trolling. What's the bet he's going to fumble it, though? Honestly, I'll try and score a touchdown here. Watch this. <laughs> I told you he'd fumble the ball. He got hit with a measly hit. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this week's gameplay. Another one in the bag. We are 3-0 and in the season. We've still got a lot of games to go, but hopefully if the Dreadnought Nation can get behind your boy, show the team some love, we can come away with this much desired undefeated season i'll catch you guys back for the next game and i'm out peace